Trump cancels Ramadan. One must understand that the American government under Obama and George W. Bush appeased radical Islam instead of fighting it head on. To be fair to Bush, 9-11 was a shocking experience and while he took the fight to the radical Islamists, he did not do enough. The Iraq blunder helped create a situation that ISIS could exploit. But he was long gone when ISIS started to creep across the world, spreading terror in their wake that is all on Obama. One year after Islamic terrorists bombed the World Trade Center and the Pentagon in 2001, one year after radical Islam killed more than 3,000 people in America, President George W. Bush held a dinner at the White House to celebrate Ramadan. This is Islam's holiest month, and like good little Muslims, for Islam, it's a religion of war and destruction, not morals. Ramadan is also Islam's deadliest month. So what did Bush do? He praised Islam as a religion of peace and called upon all Americans to join in the celebration. America said, don't you think that's a little too soon to celebrate their bombing and destruction? Even more disgusting, celebrating Ramadan in the White House is an annual tradition going all the way back to Bill Clinton. But Trump changed all that and changed the trajectory of our relationship with Islam forever with one simple move. He ended the disgusting tradition of celebrating Ramadan Instead, he issued a short statement. On behalf of the American people, President Trump said, Melania and I send our warm greetings to Muslims as they celebrate Eid al-Fitr. No dinner, no celebration, and every single Muslim in the world heard this shout, shot loud and clear. Uh huh. America is back and we are kicking butt and taking names and the first name on Trump's list is Radical Islam. Share this if you think Trump made the right move. Absolutely. Absolutely. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Yeah, with all the London things that were happening towards Ramadan. That's their time of the month where they, they, they kill infidels. Really? And we're going to celebrate it in the White House? I had to get that in. I forgot. It just came to mind right now. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching.